Welcome to an all new episode of Eva Bless featuring my mom, Mickey Munchies, and my daughter, Emma Bites. So, we're continuing to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. And we are here to introduce a new recipe, and it happens to be Edible Ed's favorite recipe. One of his favorites. Like every food is his favorite. This happens to be Edible Ed's favorite recipe that my mom, Dita Bites, makes. So, we're going to be making that today. Uh, what is it? Empanadas de camarón. Mm -hmm. So these empanadas are savory empanadas, not your sweet ones. And they can make quesadillas, uh, fried quesadillas that are the same, just with the cheese stuffing. You can make meat empanadas, but we happen to love the shrimp ones. Shrimps are pretty rich. <laughs> Let's get this recipe going. I have some plump and juicy shrimp and I'm dicing them downtown with a brand new Nakano knife. It's beautiful, it's elegant, it's sharp. Get your very own Nakano knife by clicking on the link below. In a decent pot on medium, add some delicious butter followed by diced tomatoes and onions. Don't sweat the small stuff, but please sweat your veg until tender and translucent. Add in some edible Ed magic dust and mix to combine. Time to add the shrimp to our pot, mix to combine. Cover and let steam with a burner off. There's enough residual heat in there to cook those babies. Try to hide the sizable amount of butter you added to the pot by burying it like flavorful treasure on shrimp island. Next, add chopped cilantro and mix to combine. In a beautiful bowl, add a couple of cups of masa. Sprinkle some salt and drizzle in some dandy chicken stock that's warmed, not too hot, but warmed, and mix to combine. Better yet, get your hands in there. We're cooking, people. Keep kneading to knead until your dough is smooth and comes away from the bowl. Grab a slab and drop it in your parchment lined tortilla press. Squeeze. Pat it for friendship and get it ready to get stuffed. Spoon a couple of spoonfuls of shrimp onto half of your empanada dough disc, then fold it over the other half and crimp those edges like royalty. Make sure not to overstuff or else it'll explode. Lift it off like a boss astronaut and crimp it in space. Don't drop your empanada then to your 350 degree preheated peanut oil. Instead, slowly and safely lower it in. You're welcome. Carefully flick hot oil into the top of your empanada to help create its crispy exterior. After a few minutes, flip when golden brown and delicious. About two minutes per side, remove and drain before plating. Layer on some shredded lettuce, then Los Altos Crema Mexicana and Cotija cheese. Next, some chunky fire roasted salsa. And lastly, avocados. Let's eat. Who's ready? Oh, well, I let me. It better not have the me, salsa part. Well, I only put salsa in half. So yeah, you can so. taste this bite. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Well, Emma bites choose. I'm gonna go well, ahead and have a little bite. I'm already done chewing. <laughs> um. Mm. It's really good. You could taste the shrimp. You could taste the avocado. That's really good. I'm glad you like it. It's a pretty easy recipe. What do you mean by that? The shrimp is delicious on its own, but with the crispy empanada, and then of course that crema and queso cotija and salsa and avocado. And that's enough. Daddy loves it. Go down now, the secret's out. 
So I can't wait for you all to try this at home. Let me know how you like it. But thanks for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And join us next week because we're going to keep celebrating. But one more thing. People watch the videos. Fast forward through it. Watch the full video. Please make the recipe if you watch this video. If you make the recipe, make sure you tag us. That way we can see it. Thank you for watching this all new app. Oh no, she froze. Cool party. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us. Adios. A adios. Just touch the camera. Look at me, please. Up here. Can you just put your arm down? You look like you're hurt. No, the other arm. Yeah. You look like you were hurt. Can you look at me, please? Can you stop, please? <laughs> Wait, did we do the intro for this one? We didn't do anything yet, right? We haven't done anything for this one. Okay. Three, two, one. Action. A pepper pot. This. No, but mom, mommy's trying to say that it's the fav my favorite thing that Tita makes. That's what she said. Yes. So but let every just say food that real quick. is your favorite food. Okay, let I actually didn't know that it was what the name was. And it's like we've had like before. Like mangoes with the beer. Exactly. But the beer is cooked. You only get the flavor, not the alcohol. Correct. Actually better than I thought. I'm being true. I thought it would just be like um you know, like one of those heated things where it's not like that good and it's hard. Avocado. Oh, we got this from Mexico. Oh, what are you trying to do? Ta da! Okay, thanks for watching. So, and if you make the recipe, you could buy a chocolate bar. We're not selling chocolate bars. Oh, why? Because it costs a lot of money to make. And to store and it's hot in Arizona. Okay, I mean, well, maybe you could get a teddy bear from the Edible Ice Cream Shop. So, what's the point of watching it if you don't make it? Okay, can you say thanks for watching? See you later. Oh, yay, say, uh, thanks for. Hold on, because I'm being silly and I get it. Hey! <laughs> I was like, cheeky, cheeky. I heard it. Really on there. Bye bye. bye.